because the first time you come around the corner, you see this drop off in front of you and the water racing underneath and the headlands and the eagles flying over. It's so spectacular. Jack Hart spent 14 years as Deception Pass Park Manager and wrote the definitive book on it. For bridge visitors, he offers five tips. First, appreciate the history. It's nearly 85 years old, and members of the Civilian Conservation Corps built the roads. There are these trees, you know, six feet around, that they would have to cut by hand to clear out the path and then build the roadway, blasting rock to build this parking lot right here. All done by these people, basically by hand. The bridge itself went up quickly, but for one last minute hiccup. The actual final construction, they had one piece that had to fit together to make the bridge come together. And it didn't fit when they started to put it in. So they thought, oh, I know, let's wait till it cools off. So early in the morning, they came together, put that last piece in, and it fit perfectly. Tip two, stop on the Skagit County side for an insta-worthy view. The best place is on the north side of the bridge. Uh, just as you come around the corner and you start to see things, if you just stop right there. Tip three, walk out on the west side of the bridge for an international view. So out to our west, we have Deception Island sitting in the middle of the channel. And beyond that, Lopez Island. And beyond that, you can see the lights of Victoria if it's nighttime. Tip four, don't just look down, gaze up. Stairs lead to the bridge's underside, and you can hike several trails from there. Then it's time to get onto the boat tours, Deception Pass tours, and take the boat underneath the bridge and out through the islands and see it from a different perspective. And tip five, keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. Just about anything that you'd expect in the Northwest, except for maybe a bear, although there have been bears sighted as well, but not for a long time. So many things to see from this singular Northwest vantage point. But Jack says the bridge is merely one stop on a journey he highly recommends. The bridge is the introduction. We're here, now what do we do? And there's so much more to see. Thank you, Kim, and I sometimes forget you do need a Discover Pass to park there at the bridge. Very important, and expect some traffic. 15,000 people cross the bridge every day. So yeah, a little mm, bit of traffic. Okay. Yeah.